Happening this week, it's a big battle on the hardwood as Crispus Annex will play for its first state title in more than half a century. RTV 6 Michael Grady live from the historic school tonight with a look at how the team is getting ready. Michael. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Yeah, here at Crispus Attics High School. And, you know, heading into this season, I think everybody knew that Attics had a good basketball team. They had won sectional championships in two of the past three years. They returned several great players, and they had a head coach who was catering to their style to move up and down the court. But even though they moved up to three, I don't think a lot of people believed that they would get to this point, competing for a 3A crown. Let's take you back to Saturday for just a moment. Seymour High School and what was an outstanding environment as they took on Evansville Bossy. It was, they were trading blows throughout the game, going toe for toe and ultimately it was Chris Posadics pulling out the narrow victory to earn their first trip to the state finals since 1959, a ride that they don't want to end anytime soon. Yeah, I, I think it's going to be crazy. The fans, it's, it's always pretty lit here, home games, so I couldn't imagine how it's going to be at Banker's Life. We actually played there, um, I think, early December or something like that, and it was crazy. So we just wanted to get back there to get that feeling back again. I expect to see a lot of green and gold. There's a lot of alumni. Uh, like I said, my phone's been ringing off the hook just with numbers of alumni of college just to wish us uh, good luck and different things like that. So um, I expect it to be, expect a big crowd, and, um, you know, we're excited. 